Got another hour? What? Got another hour in you? Is there really another hour? It's official! I am going to LA to join the Tennis Channel team and recreate professional tennis players' lives for a day. That's right, I'm about to train like a pro for a day. But I'm really feeling it, if you couldn't tell. I gotta catch my breath. Ah! Is there really another hour? This is gonna be a lot of fun, test my college skills, you know, put them to new heights, see where that can take me. I don't know what's happening. <sighs> my legs. Oh my god. I don't know who the player is yet, but this is gonna be super exciting. I'll see you all on the West Coast. I'm exhausted, I'm okay to go home. You can't get through this just waking up in the day deciding you wanna train like a professional athlete. Yeah. Oh my god! Want me to look into the camera at you? Camera? Did you? Uh. Uh, so you already kind of know the player, but just to reveal it, it is John Isner. Oh my yeah. God! John Isner is a Masters 1000 champion. John Isner, welcome to the top ten. This is good. I'm excited. This is a good one. Good morning, John. <laughs> Good morning. I had a dream that I was on a tennis court and I was looking down at the net from a really high angle. So I'm ready. I think I'm going to hit some killer serves. Um, that was the whole dream? <laughs> okay, so John's, you can cook, right? Yes, yes. Because John's is a, a hefty meal. Oh, no. First thing in the morning. It's seven should take in the you morning. a while. Toast and eggs. Okay. Okay, not That's bad. A, can you handle it? Please, there's nothing I can't handle. Sweet. When it comes to his breakfast, like what are, like were you surprised by it? Starting out the day, going into breakfast at 6.37 in the morning, um, I was expecting a lot more food, like pancakes, waffles, but it was just bagels and eggs. John Isner, this one's for you. Cheers. Do you think this is gonna fuel you for the day you have ahead of you? Oh, absolutely. I'm coming for you, John. I feel energized. I'm ready. I heard it's 60 to 75 minutes of straight shots, and I'm ready. Let's do this. It's really amazing to see with the guys on tour how much they do before they walk on a tennis court and how much they do after they get off the tennis court. Absolutely. You know, it's so easy for us to see just their, you know, their match. They play their two, three sets or just their practice on site, but what you don't see behind the camera is really incredible, and I think that's what allows these guys to be pros. When I spoke to Grant, I was asking him what I what the main focus of for the day was. You know, it's not about getting it right, it's about being so good at it that they can't get it wrong. Also, what shot holds up in the most critical, high-pressure situations and the biggest moments on the biggest stages. You know, I think that's what these pros train for and how they prepare for uh, those moments. Last question before you leave me. If I end up becoming John Isner, could I hire you as my own coach? Done. Sounds good. Thank you Get so much. The, <laughs> the workout routine that we did uh, wasn't too surprising. It was all familiar things that I normally do, but he does a well-rounded routine throughout the day and there's definitely more reps more sets, all that fun stuff, and we were just going at it for a long time. Hey guys. Whew, sorry, I started this video a little early, gotta catch my breath. <sighs> we just finished John Isner's workout, and we're on our way to the tennis courts, which is where I strive and thrive. Heading into the second half of the day, I think there's a lunch break at some point because I assume a 6'11 guy needs to refuel himself after a, a strenuous workout. Got the, the trunk packed with all of my stuff. Here we go is the beach, yay! Don't mind the cars parked on the side. Some people need to enjoy the view a little bit closer.
Welcome to my house. Just kidding, we're at a tennis court. Uh, we're gonna do a lot of live ball, a lot of drills. It's gonna be fun, a lot of good footwork. I heard there's some serve and return drills. I wonder why. And then we're gonna play some points out. We're gonna have a great time, we're gonna sweat it out. I'm probably gonna lose my smile, like it's gonna decay on the way, but we're gonna have a good time. Let's see, let's see how I can handle a professional workout for the next, I don't have a watch. Let's do this. As a college athlete, we did this too. I'm sure this is all around. So apparently it's 15 minutes of armband stuff and then a little bit of running before we get into the drills, but I'm excited. It's a beautiful day to be on court. Here we go. Sorry, here we go. Ah! Sorry. Whew. Apparently, John doesn't like just warming up, but really taking it to the next level. So here we are, next level. We're gonna do a fun little volley drill slash point game now that my volleys and overheads are armed up. Let's do it, let's do it. It worked. Got another hour? What? Got another hour in you? Is there really another hour? I think we're doing serves now. So a nice little sun shining again. Gonna get my serving in. Finger guns. Okay. What were some of the things that John focuses on the most and really drills the most? We did a lot of uh, ground stroke drills. Um, I was running a bit side to side, uh, directionals, things like that. Some volleys, again, that was my favorite part, but it lasted very little time. And serving and returning, we, we did quite a bit of that before getting into the point play. This is how to serve like John Isner. That's pretty good. I'm glad we did the warm, now I get why there's like an hour or two good of warm up because you can't get through this just waking up in the day deciding you want to train like a professional athlete. You really have to get yourself into it and get into that routine. Onto the recovery, catching my breath. But this was a lot of fun. This was a lot of fun. I'll definitely be stealing some things for my own practices. If I get on the court again, this might scar me for life. I don't know. Okay, can you clap when you're done for me? So as you can see, I have found more brain cells to compute to you what I am feeling, and what I am feeling is hunger. Thank you, John Isner, for your incredible lunch recommendation. I was told I needed a sandwich and a salad. I have some fries here on the side, and I couldn't figure out if you wanted it, like if you ever fries, put your ketchup, if you're a, a pick and dip kind of guy. in your face kind of uh, ketchup. But I'm gonna go on the side today, try to be a little, a little gentle. I also decided to wear my college regional shirt I, I, I could my, once at, at one point level and potentially better towards the end when I was especially because I know there's still half a and motherhood at one point to birth. Thank you for the wordplay, by the way. Not thank you, you're welcome for the wordplay. I'm staring at the food, it's it's calling a to me. Oh, that was a very uh, long turkey time. sandwich with some veggies, of course, and cheese. Um, Kind of I asked for no person. onions because I'm just that kind of like person. Gen and you what? only will tell people. Man, holy cow. <laughs> what? Eat the damn sandwich. Hey guys, just cooled down, caught my breath from all that tennis fun. And now I'm getting ready for some yoga. Gonna keep that recovery mindset and give it a go. Oh my god, I can't even reach it because I'm sore. Oh, that's so embarrassing. Oh my god, that scared me. You can just answer. Oh. Surprise, surprise! Oh my god! How are you? I'm fantastic. Oh my god. The better question is, how are you? 
That's a great question. It's not too shabby being John Isner for a day. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, you know what? I, I don't think uh, that's that cool at all. But, you know, I appreciate that. But anyways, how, how was your day? How, how was training? How was, I, was it hard? Was it easy? You know what? I think you can step up your workouts just a bit. No, I'm just kidding. I was surprised because, you know, like competing myself, I, I knew a lot of the things you were doing. It was just a matter of like the discipline to do it daily and pushing yourself a little bit harder. Like a 75 minute consecutive thing is probably not what I've ever done. Um, and then going from that straight to tennis after like the bike warm up and the arm warm up, you're just very like you're much more disciplined with everything. And you know what's really important uh, for me with, during these training days is obviously trying to get as much sleep as I can. I mean, it used to be a lot easier to get eight <laughs> hours of sleep, but more, even more importantly than that, in my opinion, is the hydration. Going to bed, you know, fully hydrated, waking up, drinking a lot of water first thing in the morning, eating a big healthy breakfast, bringing uh, some food with me. So when I finish from the gym and I'm going to the tennis course, I don't really have time to come back and eat, whether that's some oatmeal uh, or some overnight oats or cottage cheese with berries or something, something that can give me energy. I bet your kids keep you going too. <laughs> they do, they do. It's, uh, dinner time just finished. We had a party. I see the balloon. I was about to ask. <laughs> and, uh, believe it or not, not even I can reach it right now. Uh, with, so I need to go grab the ladder. <laughs> well, Leo, it was great to talk to you. Absolutely. What a surprise. This was so great. Awesome. Thanks for doing this. Absolutely. Have a great day. Uh, it's getting there. We're, I'll let you know by the end. <laughs> I'll let you know tomorrow. <laughs> All right. See ya. Bye. Bye. I had no idea it was John. Oh my yeah. God. <laughs> All right, guys, we're nearing the end of the day, unfortunately, and fortunately for my legs. It's pretty exciting. We have a little grill going for the crew and myself because, you know, Isner likes a, a juicy steak. And we're just going to go look at those steaks. Let's do it. Well, you know, he's a Texas guy at heart, so we had to get a grill going. So we got some steaks on the grill. There was rice and a lot of mixed veggies in there, a lot of onions. I know I'm a plant-based person, but onions is something I generally avoid. Let me know if you also don't like onions. Hopefully this gets me to 6-Eleven. Conclusion, what are your final thoughts? How do you feel you did? I think I did fairly well, honestly. I, I was very surprised that a lot of the things that John does on a day-to-day -day are things that I'm familiar with. So it wasn't out of the ordinary. I was very much ready to be more challenged than I was, not saying it wasn't challenging, but I, I definitely surprised myself and I'm proud of how well I did. I was definitely pushing myself through the day and I'm really proud of that. Hello, hello from the East Coast. Huge thank you and shout out to Grant Chen and John Isner for being such great supporters. And for those of you who stuck around to the end of this video, like, comment, subscribe, let us know who you wanna see next. I'm so up for the next challenge. This was a lot of fun and there's so much more to come.